I'm going to play in some junk journals today and just thought we might chit chat while I do that. I've also got a couple of things to show you, some new stuff in the Etsy shop. Let me do that first. Let's get that out of the way. Um, and then we'll go on to the play stuff. I've, I've recently made some traveler's notebook size junk journals like this. Put them in the Etsy shop. They like flew off the shelf. So <laughs> made some more. Uh, don't, don't get too excited about this cover just yet. This is a water slide decal, and I'm working on offering these in my Etsy shop because it, I mean, they just went beautifully onto this vinyl. Yeah, super cool, right? But they're not ready yet, so just ignore that. Um, anyway, sold out of the Traveler's Notebook size junk journals. Went, okay, well, let's just make maybe three or four sizes and see what happens. So I started working on the A5 size, which is the you know full sheet of paper folded in half. Worked on that one and the composition notebook size, and I kind of worked on them at the same time, which was a mistake, because apparently <laughs> I'm really not bright enough to do that. <laughs> and what happened was I made the um, full size, yeah, even on this paper, they're cool. I know, I know. Anyway, I made the full size junk journals. I wrote up the Etsy listing, and in the title, you know, I put A5 um, full size junk journal insert, whatever, but then in the description, I put the description for the composition notebook size, I put the measurements for the composition notebook size, and the price for the composition notebook size. And the odd thing about it is, y'all still bought them. <laughs> so I sold several of these at the wrong price. So anyway, caught it today, fixed it, lowered the price, and then those who already bought it at the wrong price, I have sent you refunds. So Etsy will be notifying you. I think it was like $4 difference. So anyway, my apologies for that. I did get it fixed. Um, these are still in the shop. These are the A5 size, and I'll just do a quick flip of what yours might look like. Most of them, I mean, they're pretty much the same. Um, there may be just some slight variations, but um, nothing major. Now, they will vary from size to size. Like, this has quite a few different pages as opposed to the Traveler's Notebook size. So, you know, mixed it up there. But if you buy two A5s at the same time, they're going to look um, pretty much the same. So, see, this has some fun, fun papers, a variety of printed, lined, plain, Cardstock, text weight, book pages, dictionary pages, maps, scrapbook paper, ledger sheets, index card thingies, you know, that type of deal. And it fits inside a um, A4, or not A4, A5 custom keeper, or you can use it as a standalone junk journal. Either or, you know, because it's got these two awesome pockets. So there's that one available, and it is not $20, it is $16. So I have fixed it in the shop, it is $16. The one that is $20 is this one. This is the composition notebook size, and the reason for the big jump in price is not so much the size of it, you know, it's just a little bit bigger than the A5, but it's the contents. And I did this one more kind of like a kit, because I didn't bind the um, pages into it. it, what you get is this super cool, I think, super cool handwriting notebook. It's, I don't think that it's vintage. It's just a vintage style, maybe, or I don't know. Do they even use these anymore? I'm not sure. But see, it's got the little, um, you know, like, kids who practice their handwriting it's got those lines on there and then the blank section up at the top and it's got 36 pages and they're you know they're pretty thin kind of thin pages but what I did is I bound this to the cover and that's the only part that's bound everything else and there's about 10 sheets that I included in here are 10 pieces 
and you know this is the off cut from here so yeah there's two of them you get that because they make excellent you know like a little pocket corner pocket tuck spot deal so you can use those plus you know just a variety of different <clears throat> found papers and there's some in there there's some back here. I got a really good deal on some mulberry paper. So put a little bit in there. Those are fun. Um, so there's your variety of about 10 different sheets and then an envelope that you can add to your pages. You don't even have to. You can use them for whatever. But anyway, that's what the composition notebook size is. It's a little bit bigger, plus it comes with an entire 36 page bound booklet which is great I think <laughs> but it is in the Etsy shop and we have a whole bunch of these I think we have almost 30 um, I'm not sure Jason just cut away like a madman on that one and it fits inside your composition notebook size custom keeper so that is what's happening in the Etsy shop and I apologize for that mistake with the um, a5s and you know yeah it, i don't know what i was thinking but it happens anyway what i've been working in i haven't started on my a5 and my composition yet but i have been working in my traveler's notebook size um junk journal insert i'm gonna pull it out and i'll show you what i've done um, if you remember, it comes with 20, it had 20 random pages, kind of similar to the ones I just flipped through. And I have just been adding stuff from my stash, stuff that's laying around, stuff that I accumulate during the day. There was some, I bought a shirt to work in <laughs> at uh, Walmart. And so I stuck some of the, the labels in there and um, the little tabs off of my tea bags you know I've used some of those just little things like that plus stuff that I tend to hoard and accumulate just scraps you know napkins and painty papers and tissues and um, pieces of book pages and um, things and this has some more there's packaging there's scrapbook papers there's some of these um, scrap box papers remember when i made those just glued scraps together like into a sheet of paper yep some scraps from those are in there there's some eco prints some postcards some envelopes some junk mail okay you know just little junky things and then this is strips i, I, I don't know why i keep them separate but i do and that's just off cut strips of scrapbook paper, cardstock, painty papers, you know, you name it. There we have that. And then next to me I have my box of uh, my um, collage box, my ephemera cutouts, magazine cutouts um, in the file folders. And I'll link to the video where you can see that. So that's what I've got kind of sitting around me. Plus I've got some glue sticks, I've got some different wet glues and some brushes and water and scissors and things. So um, that's what I've been using to play in my books. So I'll just go through and show you just the pages that I've done something to. I've glued um, painting papers onto some of the existing pages. And then I like to put these, you know, cover the edges or any leftover white space with a little strip or a fold over thing. Um, this was a something I cut out of a magazine. And it's just kind of a big picture, so I cut the sides off of it. And I put the sides somewhere, like right here. See? That was from her. So I put these put the sides I cut off here, glued her there. She had white around her. So this was um, a pieces that I tore off of another sheet that I put in another junk journal. And so I made a little frame around her. And I just love that page. 
and that was just, you know, stuck it down because actually I was filing away some of my things I'd pulled out of magazines. And if you use them, then you don't have to file them. <laughs> so I was trying to use as much as I was inspired to <laughs> so that I didn't have to throw away. <laughs> See how laziness can work for us sometimes? It really can. <laughs> okay, this was a piece of scrapbook paper that was in the junk journal. And I used a tea bag deal to make a pocket, and that was a magazine cutout that came off of my, you know, fresca box, and that came out of a magazine. And this was the um, tag that was off of my shirt that I got at Walmart, and then just covered it with scrapbook paper, magazine cutout, and a tea bag tab dealy. Random cutout. And this I had in my stash. Got that out of a magazine and added the tea bag deal. There's my Fresca logo. And this girl was in a magazine. I think she was in communication arts. And I don't know why I just love her. Probably because she looks like the daughter of a friend of mine. Very much so at when she was that age. So I stuck her on here. And then I put the thing, let's do lunch. I had that in my stash. And then I stuck a butterfly upside down on her head because it made me smile and then just put different random scraps around her for a little frame and I love that I haven't done anything with the wallpaper piece yet or that or that this was a napkin I put over this piece of cardstock and then I cut out wine bottles compulsively even though I don't drink wine anymore or anything really <laughs> But I love wine bottles. I just love the way they look. I love their shape. So I'm always cutting them out when I find them. And this was the um, tag off of the shirt I got at Walmart. See, it was three whole dollars. So I needed it to work out in the garage. And then I had this piece of that came out of a sewing book was already in here. And look, see, I bought a muscle tank. And this looks almost like a muscle tank. <laughs> so whoo, I had to stick it there. I put paint samples on this little piece of paper and then I, it had already had the cutout so I just put a little painted paper behind each one and then I stuck that scrapbook paper on there and that magazine cutout and oh, this was a piece of the vinyl that was bound into the book and I um, put an collaged or decoupaged a napkin on it and then she just went perfect because you know the black and white and her blue hair just pops so I love that and another paint sample with little decorative paper behind it and this was a piece from my stash and then a little image from my stash see scraps I'd use that someplace else and had a piece left so I stuck it there that was in my stash, as was that. And this was in my pile of stuff to be filed. So I chose to put it here instead of filing it. And it was a little too short, so the white paper showed. So I put that piece of black right there. And that was a scrap off of another piece that I'd used in a different junk journal. And there's some tissue paper, some packaging. And, oh, I had went to this junk shop, and they had these, they're, they're kind of like rub-ons, um, but they're made to use, like, on glass and tile, you know, so you can paint them. And so I picked one up because it didn't cost hardly anything just to see how it would work. Yeah, I don't like it. It did not rub on well, and then after you rub it on, it feels kind of sticky. So I tried it in three or four different places and then just decided that was... See, that just doesn't make me happy. It still feels kind of sticky. It's weird. Um, I love this because I don't know why, but I cut out pictures of, I cut out all kinds of alcohol pictures. <laughs> and I'm a total teetotaler. <laughs> but I guess I just like to look at it. But anyway, stuck that glass on this background of, I don't remember what. And then there's another paint chip that was bound into the book. And I put um, some decorative paper behind the little cutouts. And then this was like from a, I think it was a Zetiology collage sheet from back in the day. 
Put that there. Yeah, don't like it. Um, oh, I love this. This was just pieces I found in my junk boxes sitting next to me. And uh, he was like an advertisement for a printing company. So, and this one, I did a little bit there, just glued papers and collage pieces on there, some washi tape. And that may be, is that it? Oh no. Oh, this was some packaging. This was, I love this. <laughs> found these receipt books in a junk shop and I just love the covers. So there's that. And then this was some decorative papers and that was some packaging off of the, um, the transfers that I tried and didn't like, but that was part of the packaging. And just um, an advertisement for Flow Magazine, some washi tape and a scrap of painty paper. And uh, two um, things for magazines. So that's what I've got going on in my Traveler's Notebook Size Junk Journal, which I absolutely adore. And I'm, I'm really, as you can see, just kind of gluing whatever fits. That's my criteria. Oh, it fits. It goes. <laughs> so, yeah, there we have it. Um, I'm also working some more on this one because as I'm going through my stuff, I'm finding things that I need a bigger format for. And I had not yet made the um, composition size junk journal while I was doing my traveler's notebook. So I used this. This is a Moleskine Cahier. It's the same size as a composition notebook. But I've showed this before because... I've worked on it. It's kind of like the one where I take magazine <laughs> images and make a whole different magazine type page. <laughs> but I've added some more. Um, I added this, this, and this onto this page. As I was digging through my stuff, I just found things that I thought would go well with it. Some pages I haven't done anything to, and you've probably seen them before, so, you know, just skim over those. Still have a few little things tucked in here and there that I haven't turned into a page. This was a in one of the art magazines I got recently, and I like the background, so I want to use it for something. Just don't know what yet. This was new. I put this black background on here, and then a big watch image. And this was a picture of an art installation. This is recycled plastic stuff that was actually kind of big. And the artist arranged it like that and took a picture, so I made it my watch face. I need a little something to go right in the middle. Something interesting, something fun. This I put here because I had a plan for it, and then when I started putting it, you know, laying it out, I didn't like my plan. But that's okay. I like this and I'll do something with it. This one is new. Um, these both came out of art magazines and I just like, they were two completely different magazines, but I love the way they kind of look together. He looks kind of like he's leaning on this, this, whatever this is, some kind of recycled art thing. I love that. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that. And didn't touch that or that or that. Added this black strip next to the panda because there was a piece of the paper showing and it bothered me. It needs something right here. I'll have to find something. This is another piece of that background paper that I used on another page. And then this is a collage from one of the art magazines. 
I love this. <laughs> this squirrel I cut out of a communication arts magazine. And then this is a National Geographic page. And look how well they go together. It just looks like he's lounging on the grass. <laughs> I love this. I'm still looking for just the right background for him. And, oh, I love the way this turned out too. Because I had cut this ad out of a magazine like years ago. It was some, I don't know if it's a hard cider or a apple flavored beer. I don't even know. But I just loved all the green. And it had green apples and then the beer bottle. And then I have several of these big green apples because they're on the cover of the printer paper that I use. So I had some cut out. And look, it just went perfectly among all of the sliced green apples. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> you keep stuff long enough, I'm telling you, you'll find a use for it. <laughs> so yeah, love that. Oh, and my little polar bear and my little girl, she's got her earrings. I may need to find some other pieces of jewelry to outfit the rest of them. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. And no change to there. No change here. Um, I still think this is my favorite. I just really, really love how that turned out. Oh, or maybe this is my favorite because I love it too. <laughs> I don't know. So many favorites. Um, I really love this one. I decided it needs something right here. You know what I think it might need? Okay, let me pull the folder out and then we'll finish the flip through and then we'll go back. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute what I think it might need. I'm not sure. Um, oh, this one I really love. I had done this before with this... Um, magazine page background and then these two green bottles and then look I cut this girl out she had a she was standing in front of a house and there was grass behind her so I, I did some major fussy cutting here you know like with the exacto knife and then I amputated her thumb I felt really bad about that <laughs> but I think it's okay you know she's kind of funky and out there she can she can rock that amputated thumb but anyway, it's just the little piece of chain link fence and her, and she just went perfectly, you know, like the fence is in front of this giant garden or something. And her colors went well with the bottles. I, sure, I love how that turned out. So yeah, that one was super cool, despite the amputation. And, oh, I put the dog right here. I, I felt like she needed a pet, so I gave her a pet. Nothing new there, and nothing new there. Still collecting shoes that are made for walking, so. Okay, that is where I'm at on this. Let's go back to that page where I said I think it might need a little something. I'm, think, I'm wondering if it needs a cigar band right there. Because I've got some kind of really cool looking cigar bands, thanks to my good friend Vicki Ross. And some of them are just gorgeous. But I need to scoot in maybe, maybe just a little bit. But, okay, they're all, see, that's not the right orientation, because it needs to go like this. And, oh, actually, that's not too bad. Is it? <laughs> Maybe that's just what I needed. <laughs> Is it really that simple? <laughs> Surely not. Maybe this one. Oh, I think I like that one better. I'll have to cut off that tab. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. I like it. Okay, let's just go with it. It's already making me happy. There's no need to fish through all these other ones to find one that makes me even happier. It's possible, but happy is good enough. Let's cut all these away. And I'm just going to snip off this little tab here, like 
so. And then glue this guy on. I've got some glue stick out. That one's almost done. Is that the other? There we go. Now, what? Let me put this back. I have no plan. I don't know what I want to do or need to do. Maybe, you know what? I could start on this one. This one is like completely empty, ready to start. I mean, there's no wall that says I have to finish this one before I start this one. No, no, no. That is not a law. So guess what? Let's start a whole new one. <laughs> now, flip through, see what I've got. Please give me some grace if your pages are so in crooked. <laughs> really, really trying, but y'all, it's not easy to keep these perfectly lined up because I sew from this side. You know, I want, I mean, stitches are actually the machine that I use. It does pretty stitches front and back. These, you get the holes from the punch through, but the stitches themselves look really nice. But, I just want my, you know, excellent looking stitches on this side. So I sew this way, which means all of this under here, I don't see. And if it shifts slightly, it gets sewn in like that. So yeah, all of that is to say, just please give me a little grace if one of your pages is wonky like that. It's just extra homemade that way. Okay. I don't remember what all I put in here, so I'm kind of going back through to see if that has good potential. Hello doesn't rhyme with yellow. I don't know. <laughs> not in my world. Yellow and hello are not even close to the same, you know, rhyming thing. Okay. Got a feel for what is happening here. And these pages are not real interesting. I could cover them with something. Let's just pull out a folder. This one says art design. It's kind of where I stick stuff that I don't know what to do with. Okay, I've been looking at these. These are somebody's altered playing cards that are fabulous. I cut them out of some art magazine. And they were, oh, they're kind of too small for this one too. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to have to use these in my composition notebook one. Because I really kind of wanted to use them together as a set. But I have to have the right size page. And this is not it. So, what else? That is super creepy. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's possible. It has possibilities. that. Okay, already I know that I want to cut 
a lot off of this. Whether I use it here or not. Um, oh, I never know how good we are until we try. Oh, that is a great sentiment. I like that there. But what about all of this around it? I see, I know that's going to irritate me. So, I may just tuck it there and see what I can find to put around it. I wonder if I have just some kind of abstract, colorful. Here's my multicolored file folder. See, it's got some multi colored things in it and I am going more for size and shape rather than <laughs> what it actually is. Ooh, I that. What would that do? That's kinda I kinda like the juxtaposition of the colors and then the black and white. I'm gonna do that. I like that. Okay. I need a trimmer. Let me go get a trimmer. Mm -hmm. I have no idea if this blade is good or not. This looks like, well, it worked. This looks like the trimmer that I used to carry with me to our stamp club meetings. I used to meet, met with a group of friends once a month to rubber stamp back when that was all the thing, you know. And uh, anyway, while I was doing that, I tended to put my name on all my stuff because we would all bring our stuff and some of us had stuff that was exactly the same. So I labeled mine. Plus, I'm just a compulsive labeler anyway. So, yeah, it was a twofold purpose. Okay, good enough. And what glue do I want to use? Man, glue stick. Okay. And what's the shoes? There's the shoes. And I'm going to use a different glue because this is kind of a stock and not paper. So I'm going to use some of this Helmar Premium Craft Glue. I like these clear sticky glues like this, like the Helmar 450 and Beacon 3-in-1. They're just super sticky. And, you know, I like stickiness in my glue. Which is one thing I don't really like about glue sticks. They tend to be not sticky enough for me. Okay. There we go. Now, what else? I could put a vintage something right there. Let's look at ephemera printed because I know I have lots of printed vintage style ephemery. And I even have some. Oh, they're too big. These are like a travel. Stickers, not stickers, but kind of things. Well, the colors are too bright. Yeah, I just don't like the colors. Oh, let's see if there's something in here. Again, I'm just all about, you know, if it's the right size, it's the right thing. And that's not really what I want. Maybe. Just a 
a little bit too long. I don't know. Possible, not ideal. Let me keep looking. Dig through here. And what is this? Does this work? Oh, look, it works. I'm gonna. Okay, it says name, uh, destination, and then something, something, something. So show you how I'm going to write on here. I'm going to write my name. That's not really my name. I just scribbled. <laughs> Destination. I'm actually writing words. I'm just doing them in such a way that you can't tell what they are. Um, I don't know what that means, but it looks like it wants numbers. So there we go. See, you can just scribble and then it looks artsy, sort of. Okay. And then I can put that there. Ooh, I saw a piece of paper. Oh man, where'd it go? cut out. That will be the determining factor for whether or not we need a butterfly. Um, I was wanting something with some color, but all the ones I have cut out are either too plain or they're too big. Look at that little blue one. Oh, oh. Dad gum, I'm gonna have to cut them out. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Fussy cutting a butterfly. I really despise fussy cutting. When I fussy cut butterflies, I always just snip off the antenna. Do y'all do the same? Sometimes I'll draw them back in when I glue them down, and then sometimes not out. Okay. Where does it need to be? It needs to be there, I think. Okay. There's butterfly. And I forgot about this. It's okay to be messy. Thank you. It wants to go right there. Okay. Now. Yeah. That 
might need something. I kind of want to leave those showing. Why? Because I want to. Hmm. Let's see what kind of modern objects we've got. Oh, scissors. I have a plan for those. That's a big camera. I love those shoes. That's nice. This is nice. Let's see if we can use these. Mm, that fits really well right there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna scooch it down in case I wanna, you know, find some kind of a phrase or something. That's what I'm gonna use. There we go. Got that one done. I just was kind of, and okay, the reason I pulled these two things out of that folder, if you're wondering what made me pull them, is number one, I've had them both for quite a while. <laughs> kind of tired of looking at them. <laughs> so I want to use them and just their size and shape and knowing the size and shape of the papers that are in here, I thought they might work well. So that is what made me pull these things. I could put flowers in this, couldn't I? Should we do that? Should we look for flowers to put in that? Put this away. Get out my flower folder. Let's see. Okay, I have a feeling I have to use these. Let's see. Those are weird. Those are wallpaper flowers. Those I didn't finish cutting out because that, I don't even know what that is. That's kind of a flower. Um. I think that kind of works. I just want a, um, a background for it now. So, put all that back and think about a background. What about this piece of yellow? Oh, that kind of hurts my eyes. my color pages, my um, folders that are divided up by color, you know, just to see if I've got something in here that, oh, what about cork? Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to use the cork.
Okay, now there's some little flowers in my vase. I could even put another decoration on the vase because it's big enough. So, oh, got some loose edges. That won't work. I love that. Hmm. Anything else? Let's see if I can come up with one more little something. bottles and cans and just that size and shape makes me wonder if it wants a bottle or can like that oh guess what I think it does it wants that bottle okay I'll put it there Because it's just a junk journal. It doesn't have to make sense. Pages don't have to have a layout or a theme. You can just put whatever makes you happy on there. And I do like this. And I like Izzy's. Used to buy them all the time. And collect their bottle caps because they had cool bottle caps. It's probably still got a bunch of those. But I like the way that looks on there. So I'm going to continue just gluing in stuff for the sheer joy of it. And uh, and my journals. If you need a junk journal, if you want a cool one that has the vinyl covers like this, has a couple pockets where you know you can stash some of your bits and pieces that you want to use. Um, go to the Etsy shop, pick them up. We've got two sizes right now, and Jason is out there working on two more. We're gonna have two smaller ones coming up in the next few days too. So check those out if you are interested and um, start you know, using your stash would be a good way to use up some of your stash, just randomly gluing stuff in these journals. And then, um, yeah, then you'll have a, a junky, happy book that you love. So that is all for now. The end. <laughs>